oh God, I'm nervous about the picture, picture that I'm sharing for this particular video, but I think that it captures um, my unconditional love for me. And so it's worth sharing. Karen Nicole Smith here. Welcome to my boundless life. Uh, this one is nervous, nerve wracking, nerve inducing. Today's video is about me being comfortable in my own skin. Because of my health, being comfortable in my own skin entails quite a bit. So uh, I'm wearing my pajamas right now. It's a onesie. You can't see the bottom part, but it's really cute. Anyways. So right here, I have a line so that I can do dialysis. So that's very important. Uh, as soon as I got it, I decided I wasn't gonna change the way I dressed. It was gonna show, if people asked, I would either just, you know, oh, I got a tattoo, or I would say, I have a line that I use to do dialysis and leave it at that. Um, on this side here, um, it looks like Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein did this operation, but uh, reassured it was, uh, who knows who did it. Anyways, um, that is a defibrillator. I've had a cardiac arrest before, and so once you've had a cardiac arrest, then they put a defibrillator in you so that if it happens again in the future, they don't have to use the defibrillator, you know, like clear, clear, whatever like on tv uh they don't have to do that so this thing will just go into work if it needs to uh, you can't see it because i'm wearing this onesie but um i have tons of scars from operations from having a kidney transplant before from you name it i've experienced it health wise it's been quite a journey So because this blog uh, or this vlog is not about my health, I want to talk about why that's relevant to even bring it up. And in my case, it's relevant because I think one of the biggest lessons I'm meant to learn in my life is about um, unconditional love. So unconditional love means to love something despite conditions. And in my case, for me to love myself, uh, I had to learn to love myself despite my health. And I had to learn to love myself despite uh, all my, I call them mechanicals, all my mechanicals and, you know, all the scars, all the, you know, the, the signs and symbols on my body that I'm a person with health problems. I think it's really liberating for me to be able to love my body despite the things that I've been through. Uh, it can be hard to look and see all these visual reminders uh, and not just feel sad or feel uh, you know, like, why me? And I don't want to live like that. So instead, I kind of look at all this stuff like just me. It's just me. It's how I look. Been through some stuff. This is how I look. And to love myself, um, despite uh, my mechanicals, is a journey and something that uh, I think I'm not on the other side of, I'm in the right place about it. In the past, I think I thought, oh gosh, you know, what will people think? What will, you know, will somebody love me? Will people think that I'm different or weird? And now I just think this is who I am. I'm fine with it. If somebody else is fine with it, cool. If somebody else isn't fine with it, cool. It is what it is. I really do think of my health 
and my mechanicals as kind of a, a blessing because what it's these things have taught me. So these things have taught me unconditional love for the most important person that you are meant to learn unconditional love for, and that is yourself. I know now because I can love myself despite my health, despite um, my mechanicals and my scars, uh, then now I have the capacity to love somebody else. And I think that that is probably the most important lesson that we're meant to learn, period. And I really do believe that life is, is really about lessons or else I wouldn't be able to make sense of a lot of the things that have happened to me. But the lesson of the scars and the mechanicals on my body and the lesson of my health I would not want to live a life without learning these lessons and learning these lessons as I've learned them in this lifetime have been perfect for me. It's so weird because I wouldn't wish uh, chronic illnesses or mechanicals on it, anybody else, but for me, I am so thankful for what I've learned through these things. I don't think there's much more I can say. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing these videos. If you are liking them, please subscribe to my channel. You can subscribe with a, a red button above or a button below, depending on what type of uh, computer you have. And um, like, leave comments. Thank you.